Aura. The ever-changing flow of life energy around one's body can be harnessed for supernatural abilities, though it's not as extreme as it's usually showcased in animes. It can be used to generally rec recognize one's presence. Yo, you see bro who just walked in? Bro has aura, right? Nah, facts. Bro's wavy. Bro has aura for sure. Everybody has a little aura, some much, much more than others. Duke Dennis, recently glazed and sought after by the entire internet for having a, and I quote, an immense amount of aura. The use of this word peaked online a couple years ago. No glaze, but Lazy from FaZe has been gaining a lot of aura recently and posting hella clips to keep a track of it. I'm gonna tell you right now, one person you don't want to mess with, they usually all have some aura. Negative aura, some young niggas out there. A young nigga is a nigga from the age of 12 to 17 who will shoot you in your sh or openly let you know that he's eager to do so without batting an eye, honestly. <sighs> Can't believe that young nigga started hitting doors, man. Can't believe it. He was a good kid. Good kid. Breathe, brother. Breathe. It's okay, brother. These young niggas nowadays ain't fing with no ops, twin. They gon' up the pole in your goofy. Especially if you got no motion twin, you best be moving cautiously. Motion, according to Urban Dictionary, comes down to having money, having opportunities, and having more than any other hater. And I also kind of associate it with having status or social clout. Don't understand what the problem is. Why would you not want me? I have so much money, houses, fame, all of the motion in the world. If she still does not want me, <sighs> they tell you as a man, chase the money, and you get it, and the girls will come. I have it all, and I'm still alone. It's all right, twin. You'll get through it. If you call somebody twin, it means that your best friends, your homies, or homegirls, they're probably your closest friend. Yo, Nico, man, how you been? What's good, type shit. What's good, twin? Holding it down. You already know. Keep me at the hundred. I have no cool transitions for this next word. Ratio is when a reply on Twitter gets more likes than the tweet it replied to. It, that's basically it. It's been getting used more and more, mainly on Twitter, and it's okay to get ratio. Nobody really cares, honestly, in today's society, but people do care a lot. If you're a simp. A simp does way too much for the person that they like. We're talking about you're going out of your way. Get them they don't even need. Baby, please. I'll, I'll do whatever you need me to. Whenever you want. Just ask. I'll drop whatever. I'll drop it off for you, baby. Please, baby. Please don't leave me. Please. Please. I need a girlfriend. Please. Simp. That man was simping. Very hard. The use of simp online has seen a sharp decline ever since March of 2020. The exact opposite of simp, though, is sigma. Not ligma. Sigma. A Sigma person is popular, successful, but highly independent and self-reliant person. Typically a male, but it can definitely be a female. One step above the alpha male. Unlike the Sims of Twife, Benico was a Sigma male, as shown by his work ethic and the women who throw themselves at him. Opposite of Simp, it also has the exact opposite graph trending upwards. Now, a lot of the Sigmas out there probably won't know what this term means because don't got time for it. Brain rot, a new phrase, but we've been honestly doing it for decades at this point. Brain rot is inability to stop thinking about a certain topic, causing your brain to rot. This could often cause stress or anxiety for, pe for people. It's also a form, in my opinion at least, of doom scrolling. What is doom scrolling? Basically, when you're stuck on any social media platform, you just can't stop scrolling, mainly on the platforms that have infinite scrolling vertically, like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, scrolling. I mean, you're just not stopping. Or just being consumed by a meaningless video online is another way to having brain rock. But hey, if you're gonna watch six hours of TikTok a day, do it for the plot. The definition of do it for the plot is a conscious decision to see yourself as the main character of the story that is your life and maintain that outlook on every moment, good or bad. It's merely a plot point for your larger narrative. Honestly, you look at it as though you are the writer of your own story, the producer, the director, and the star of your own story. Living unapologetically, this is some real psycho in my opinion, because you're basically trying to look at yourself from the third person point of view, justify doing something, which is just weird. Just get comfortable in your own mind and do it from that point of view. If you're doing things for the plot, I'm just gonna say you're probably an NPC. That's real NPC behavior. There's really two definitions of an NPC. There's the hardcore game definition, which is like people in the game walking around that you don't interact with that are there to fill space basically. And then there's the NPCs who we have all interacted with in our life, maybe at school or at work, people <laughs> who have damn near nothing going on up here. And it's like a shell you sometimes wonder how they made it this far those are npcs subscribe so you're never lost when you're talking to your little brother or cousin or sister family member ever again